Hello everyone, I wanted to make a quick video about how to make and install a Buildcraft quarry as part of the Technic Pack. Um, I have already made a video about um, a demonstration of a quarry and many other things, you know, how to make a system to run fuel to it and uh, getting blocks from it and processing them. So I already have uh, videos out there for that, so check those out. This is just going to be about crafting and installing a quarry. So it should be very cool. I have a site ready for it. Um, this is my other quarry right here. So th this is what we'll be building. Get a little view of this here. Um, that's the quarry block right there. Sends uh, blocks out of it there and has engines powering it. Um, so yeah, let's craft away. Go into my uh, work shed here, my crafting table. All right, so. This requires uh, a lot of resources, actually. Um, uh, 11 diamonds, that's kind of the hardest part of it to find. I mean, but the 16 gold ingots are uh, not easy to find either. Um, actually, I think as part of the Technic Pack, um, this might just be my imagination, but it seems like resources are harder to find because of the addition of tin and, and copper. Um, just because it's cha changed the terrain generator so that, I mean, if resources have a chance of showing up in the earth, then I guess it's less likely to be diamond or gold as well. Um, I just I just haven't had a lot of success finding them. All these uh, diamonds are um, crafted from equivalent exchange, like traded up from other blocks. So let's get to crafting here. You're gonna need 11 diamonds, 16 gold ingots, 28 iron ingots, 28 cobblestone, 30 sticks, and one redstone. <laughs> the one lonely redstone. So, we'll get started at this end here. You're going to arrange your sticks into this sort of fashion here, like a diamond, I guess. And you're going to want to make seven wooden gears. I'll explain these two sticks in a bit. So, the thing with gears is you keep adding blocks onto them so every block you add now this is this stone gear cost four sticks and four cobblestone so you're going to keep trading up like this stone gear in the middle again iron ingots and then now you have seven iron gears so these these iron gears here are going to get turned into gold gears when you add gold to them. So you see we're going to need three iron gears, two gold gears, and two diamond gears. And then these last three diamonds are going to be used for a pick. I guess logically this pick would be the, uh, the business end of the quarry, the thing that you can see down in the in the the quarry digging away um, so since these all get added on like with the new resources that you add these diamond gears they actually cost four diamonds four gold four iron four cobblestone and four sticks each so when you think about it that way it's these are it's, it's not a, a cheap thing to craft but they're very very good like I advise you rush to these as fast as possible so you can get this quarry they're, they're very good so there we are completed recipe now let's go install it bunny get out my head bunny yeah <laughs> Cool. This is what we're we'll using to fuel it here. So you can see I've laid out an area here. Um, it's just a really small quarry. You can specify whatever size you want using these uh, blue torches here, these markers. These are crafted easily using uh, one stick below one lapis piece, um, just like you craft a redstone torch. Um, since you can only specify squares or rectangles, whatever, um, for the use of uh, the quarry um, 
You only actually need three, because, just to save on a piece of lapis, because this corner is implied once you have the three other corners. Uh, we're need a wrench here. So what you do once you have these in place, you're just going to want to right click on the torch. And there we have a square. So now let's get this guy in place here. Um, the quarries do have a default size that they can use. Um, so you don't actually need the, the torches. And I mean, you can collect them again um, right after you place them. So you can have them again and reuse them. Um, but, I mean, it's just easier to specify your own size. And I'm just putting this here temporarily. So yeah, got this area cleaned out here. So now what we're going to need is yeah, slime down there. Um, going to use a steam engine for this. Place that there with this part facing the quarry. Um, get these blocks out of the way. And then we're going to power it with redstone. So now it's getting some power. The quarry itself doesn't need to be powered, so don't worry about that. And then we're going to need an output line from the quarry. So, oh, hey, buddy. So we'll just attach it like that. You can attach it to any side you want, but I guess the top looks the best. I use it on the side over here to because I'm going to be adding some uh, engines to the top and right side of this. Um, Oh, by the way, I finished the outside of the um, sugar farm since my last video, so that's looking schnazzy now. So we have coal being fed into the engine from my uh, sugar processing plant. Um, so some of it's going to come through this stone line here and go into the engine. Here, let's throw some more in here. So now i got a nice supply of coal there. So that's going to be pumping away, feeding the engine. And then, as you can see, there's these orange pipes constructing on these checkered marks. These checkered things would actually disappear if you um, destroyed the quarry. Um, but once these are building, if you destroyed the quarry, the yellow line would go away, but you'd have to break out these uh, orange blocks. So, since it's becoming night, I'll go sleep r real quick, and then we'll come back and see this thing in action. Well, it's a beautiful morning. Yeah, so while we were sleeping, it looks like the quarry was busy. Um, that's one cool thing about the uh, Somnia mod. Keeps all the buildcraft stuff running while you're sleeping, too. As you can see, we have this... Uh, going down a bit there. Have this... Uh, drill down there going block by block picking them up and they're they're coming out over here so that's very cool coal getting fed in here into the steam engine and really that's it like <laughs> isn't that simple you just it's pretty much just the resources you need to make the quarry and then after that you know just define the area um, put either a, uh, a steam or a combustion engine powering it so that's a stone or iron engine redstone engines would you need a lot of them to power these so even one steam engine um, does a good job of powering these. See, uh, this one obviously isn't that fast, but once you get, uh, man, how many engines do I have on this right now? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think I count there. Once you have eleven engines on it, um, it starts to go fast. Where's the bit right now? Let's go take a look at it. It's underwater right now, but you'll be able to see the speed. Yeah, see, it's like mining all those blocks underneath it now. It, it never stops moving, and it goes very quickly, too. Um, 
Whereas this one, you see it moves kind of slowly, mines a block, stops for a bit, you know, and then it stops for more than a little bit sometimes, <laughs> apparently. And you can even see it in the, the block output here, how spaced out those are. But when you look at the output from uh, from this quarry, they're, they're <laughs> the blocks are even overlapping a little. How fast they're coming out, so it's probably about five times as fast. I haven't really measured in like blocks per minute the benefits of adding engines, but there definitely is a benefit. So add as many engines as you can. So yeah, it's just been a quick video how to set up a quarry. So yeah, have fun with that. The quarries are definitely very cool, very cool tools. Um, we have to find a way to use all the blocks, so I have some ideas in some of my other videos. So check those out, and uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching.